We already know that there's 18,000 trucks, according to Caltrans um, data, that go through in a 24-hour period. But I was so amazed by that number, I, I wanted to count the trucks myself just to verify it, because that would be like 12 to 13 trucks a minute. And yeah, for, for sure. I think we're uh, disproportionately impacted because of this, uh, this freeway. There's also been a few uh, accidents along the freeway where trucks have uh, spilled hazardous waste. That's another concern on top of the day-to-day -day emissions. Okay, the El Tejon Middle School in Lebec is uh, right along Interstate 5 in the uh, Grapevine Corridor just a few feet from the freeway. There's about 400 students, fourth grade through eighth grade. And of course the concern is, uh, we can see the pollution actually coming up from the San Joaquin Valley, and then the emissions from the freeway, the, all the diesel trucks. I've actually had a student tell me it, it was hard to breathe. Um, when he was running in the fields here, but of course we have quite a few children right now um, that are they're running in the field. It's a little scary to me to think what they're being exposed to. The obvious concern is the emissions from the, the freeway um, and the diesel. So, it, so this, this is an important site for us to monitor. Hopefully someone's not having a, an asthma attack as we s sit here. Uh, I don't know. TXI, which is a, a concrete plant uh, down Lockwood Valley Road. TXI doesn't just have impacts because it's there and it's producing uh, dirty air and polluting the water, but it also has impacts because of the continuing stream of trucks along this route here. And of these trucks, many of them park in the woods overnight this is a, a Flying J truck stop. It's not electrified. It's in Lebec, California, uh, right against Interstate 5. Um, late at night, there are often 200 to 300 trucks idling. There is a five-minute idling law, but this truck is not electrified, so, um, the, and there's really no enforcement of that law. So. It makes me so mad. It makes me so mad because I know that the Air District is counting the, and the state is counting the reductions in emissions because they have this law in place. So, you know, they're, they're bragging about the reduction in emissions, but the reality is they don't have enforcement, so the emissions are still there. The, the trucks idle, um, um, in the most part, to keep their refrigeration in their units going um, for their trucks or for, to keep their cabs warm in the wintertime or uh, air conditioned in the summertime. If they were electrified, they could just uh, plug in and, and not run their diesels. The trailer parks that are also along, along here, across from right next to Cuddy Creek, so they're, they're getting the impact on the, the uh, Flying J idling trucks, the sand and gravel facilities, and the freeway. Uh, not a great combination. Probably not the best place to live. Uh, this, we're entering the Fraser Mountain Mobile Home Park that is actually located in Lebec. I have a friend, a co-worker that w lives in this trailer park that says she has been experiencing um, a lot of respiratory problems, uh, asthma-like symptoms, congestion, that kind of thing, since she lived here. So it's a real concern. And so people are not only struggling with um, you know, economic concerns, but they're probably overloaded with the, some of the, the worst pollution in our, our region.